Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing the team building guide for the new Goten, Trunks, and Android 18. Um, we're going to do ahead, uh, go ahead and do a quick character or card review of the three cards. Then we're going to go ahead and jump into their mono teams and then the other hero slash, well, hero teams <laughs> that they can link with. So let's go ahead and jump right into that real quick. So first off, the Trunks, Inborn Pride, Super Saiyan Trunks Kid, leader ability, tech and physical type, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 20%. Not a bad leader for the um, physical and tech types. If you're going up against the old school events, he's not great at all uh, for a leader, but you know, again, going up against old school events, that HP attack and defense buff plus the two key, can benefit you uh let's say you're going up against super saiyan 3 angel goku event or something like that and you don't have good cards because you just started playing um anyway so that's that super attack supreme damage triple kamehameha uh, raises allies attack by 20 percent for one turn so you want him to attack in the beginning of the turn if you want to utilize that that way everyone after him can get that attack buff and just say you get a double attack he will double increase and he'll also do more damage because he already increased his uh, attack by 20 percent uh, passive skill, tough like his father. Attack plus 80% unconditional, which is awesome. Reduces damage to by 40% when guard is activated, which is pretty decent, but it's only good against agility characters. If he's going up against any other type, that, that damage reduction is not going to come in that uh, handy, but he'll do good um, at tanking against agility-based events. So keep that in mind when you're building your technique teams. He's good, well, better for damage reduction. But most events today come with multiple types of characters, so he also might be a little bit of a liability just because he has low defense. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, The Innocents, and Prepared for Battle. He is part of the Hybrid Saiyans category because he's half human, half Saiyan. And he has max stats of HP of 8026, attack of 8243, and defense of 4532, with a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Overall, all right unit not nothing to write home about but he is cool to own if, especially if you like trunks or if you don't have anything better to run um, he will come in handy for you in the future and uh, you know as of right now uh, next one is going to be inboard fearlessness super saiyan goten kid he's essentially the intelligence version of that trunks leader ability intelligence and physical type key plus two hp attack and defense plus 20 percent you know what's interesting they both do end physical you would think that this one would do um physical and then this one would do agility uh, just because of their counterparts that they have. Interesting. Um, HP attack and defense plus 20%. Supreme damage raises allies attack by 20% for one turn, which is cool. They both get uh, attack plus 80%. This one, though, his passive skill is a little bit different. High chance to reduce damage received by 40%. So it's a high chance received by 40%, which, depending on the situation, may be better, especially if you're going up against a rainbow boss. If you're not going up against a rainbow boss, then it doesn't really matter too much. But, you know, uh, take it for what you will. Some, some of us, like, I sometimes will prefer to have that reliability of knowing when it's going to go off at the same time a high chance over here can be beneficial because you're going to be going off not at, not all the time but you're going to be reducing damage by 40 percent at a high chance i don't know what the percentage of this is of that by the way high chance is usually like 50 percent so uh link skills are golden warrior super saiyan kamehameha budding warrior their innocence prepared for battle now if you didn't notice they literally have the same exact link skills so um, they will be each other's best linking buddies overall <laughs> uh, category is hybrid saiyans max stats are hp of 87 44 attack of 80 27 and defense of 44 33 uh, 12 key multiplier of 130 percent um overall again just like his counterpart not nothing to write home about but he can come in handy for certain events uh that you're trying to go up against like the old school tech cell event possibly because he does that intelligence uh hp attack and defense buff uh, overall, not a great unit, but he is decent and he does some decent damage because of that eight, attack plus 80% with Supreme Damage modifier. Um, last but not least, we're going to go over Clever Tactics Android 18. Leader skill is Strength and Physical Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. So she gets a little bit of a buff there. This is the first Android 18, in my opinion, that actually does really decent damage. Now, still nothing to write home about, but she does decent damage. Uh, the one thing that kind of writes her off from being thrown on teams is that she's a super unit when all the other 18s and 17s and all the other androids are extreme types. So you can't really throw her on an extreme team, though you could probably throw her on a standard team like with Mass and Bardock or something like that. Anyway, her leader ability is pretty nice for old school events as well. Strength and physical type, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Uh, her super attack power blitz causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for 6 turns. 
passive skill extra rewards attack plus 50 percent at the start of the turn and additional attack and defense plus 50 percent when hp is 50 percent or above now some of you were talking about how that sucks but at the same time you're not going to be under 50 percent once you get under 50 percent chances are you're going to heal um so you know you take that with a grain of salt she's going to be doing uh, at least attack plus 100 percent uh, most of the time, and with her super attack, raising attack for 6 turns, as you know, I don't really like when you have that passive on the super attack, but for longer drawn out battles, it will, uh, benefit you, but whatever, uh, what can you do? Uh, link skills are money, 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 android assault, twin terror, shocking speed, battlefield diva, infinite energy, and shattering limit. Now that's a really crappy link skill set, in my opinion, shocking speed, battle, well, actually shocking speed, uh, uh shattering limit, maybe the two most relevant ones. Uh, Twin Terrors possibly too, but that's just key, and that's only going to come for another Android 817. So what can you do? Max stats are HP of 88.68, attack of 83.33, and defense of 46.84 with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Um, she's also part of the category of Peppy Gals, which is good for the Master Roshi Platinum Shell event. Not currently available, um, at least for the category on the global side, but when it does, at least if you have her, she can be a decent leader, so that way you can get through that event a little bit more easily. Uh, overall, not a really great unit either. Uh, none of these guys are really great units. They're just really good leaders for old school events if you don't have one. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and talk about team building. We're going to start off with the trunks. Trunks for best linking buddies. Now, I did not do four or more because there are just way too many link skills that are shared between uh, four or more of his link skills. So we're going to talk about the other buddies who he does link with. As we already spoke about, the intelligence one, is, intelligence Goten is going to be his number one linking buddy. Um, another one who shares all of his link skills is the Agility Goten. Um, the Innocence Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, and Prepared for Battle. That's that's attack plus 30%. Uh, another 2500 uh, 2500 flat out boost, and then 3 key. So you can't go wrong there. His Undokun form, the Agility Undokun variant of that Goten, also does the same amount. So, uh, that's good, that's cool, that's something to keep in, uh, take into consideration as well. Uh, but, you know, overall, in terms of who he links with, once you get above that, I mean, let me like this. Golden War, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, and Prepare for Battle are the three most common Saiyan links, except for, like, maybe Vegeta, who doesn't have Kamehameha. But those are the three most common Saiyan links, so he's going to link with everyone. <laughs> uh, but these are his best linking buddies. In terms of a mono team, um, again, as you can see here, all Saiyans, you have the Super Saiyan Gotenks, the, the one who Doken awakens from, I believe this one is the SR uh, Goten. I believe it is, or maybe it's the SR Trunks. Either way, uh, he shares the four most common link skills. Uh, well, actually, this one is the Innocence because it's uh, Trunks and Goten. But the Innocence, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Future Gohan, also the other SSR variant of Future Gohans here. I decided to keep him on the bottom. Uh, so he is Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle. Same thing with this, well, th this, this uh, Future Gotenks is the same thing with the, uh, oh no, it's not with the Innocence. He knows Kamehameha, awesome. So he knows Kamehameha, but he's not going to be available on the global side. And then these Gokus, there's just too many Gokus here, there's four of them, and it is literally the four link skills I had told you about across all the board, across the board with all of them. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, and Prepared for Battle. So you can link them with most of these Gokus without any issue. Uh, still, I don't think he is a wonderful unit, uh, he is someone who you can run if you're lacking units because you just started the game. But I would not recommend a pro, but then again, if you're a pro, you kind of already know not to do this, but I wouldn't recommend any veteran players who have a lot of different cards, better cards, to use him, unless you literally don't have anything better and you just had craft luck. So, um, yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and talk about the Goten. Goten is the same exact situation. The Technique Trunks is the best one that you can link with him. The next best is going to be this Physical Trunks. Now, he only has 5 link skills, and that's because his Trunks doesn't have Kamehameha. He has everything else, though, so it's attack plus 30% and key plus 3, which, I mean, honestly, that Kamehameha plus 2,500, while it's nice, it's not that, you know, necessary, because it's literally, literally only 2,500 attack, which, in the grand scheme of the new metas, 2,500 is nothing. So it's not really that necessary, plus this Trunks has an extra 20% attack damage when you Doken Awaken him, which makes him a little bit more viable. Uh, overall, I like this better, uh, so you, I would recommend running him against, well, with his Trunks on a Mono Hero team if you're going to run them two together, just because if you like them. Um, outside of that, same, so the SSR variant is the same thing as the TUR variant, it's just that this TUR variant is definitely a lot better uh, for damage output. Uh, now, in terms of the Mono team... Uh, again, Gokus all across the board, <laughs> and Gohans, so, and the one Gotenks. So, Gokus, it's going to be the same four, it's prepare, uh, let's see, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, prepared for battle, um, across the board for all the Gokus. 
for the Gotenks, it's the Innocence, and then the other three, which is Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle. And for Gohan, is Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepared for Battle across the board as well. Unfortunately, he doesn't link with the actual LR Gohan, he only links with the two uh, uh, lower versions, the SSR and the TUR variants, which is uh, and uh, the Baba Shop, I believe that is, the Baba Shop variant. Uh, can't do anything about that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, that's who he links well with. I uh, This buff coup is cool because you're probably going to, if you have him, you're going to run him once he's Doken Wake and as a support unit. He is a good support unit to run. If you have LR Gohan, um, these two Gokus are the same. This is just the TUR variant. This Goku is going to be run, uh, well, should be run on a LR Gohan team because he gives LR Gohan that uh, Super Saiyan buff and then the key orb manipulation, which is what I would recommend running. Um, and then, the, obviously, Gotenks probably wouldn't want to run, and then either they'll if you have this Gohan, it's probably because you haven't dokened him into the LR variant. But if you were lucky enough to pull two Gohans, um, then you're going to want this one for the linking for the LR Gohan. And then you can have these two paired if you have uh, this Goten on off, well, off rotation. But I wouldn't recommend that anyway. But uh, that's that. I don't think he is very viable for a team, in my opinion. But you can run him on a mono intelligence team if you don't have anyone better. Uh, these are his best linking buddies. But again, most of the, both of these Super Saiyans, the Trunks and the Goten, are going to link well with Super Saiyans because of their very common link skills. Now, 18, different story. She really doesn't link well with anyone. Um, you have a Raleigh, the Technique, the Strength, and the Agility Raleighs. Um, those are the three that link the best with her. Uh, in terms of heroes. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that on the, on the next slide anyway, or the next slide, or the next tab. But uh, in terms of who she links well with, she only shares three common link skills with everyone in game. And this is like the filter right here. Everyone. Like SSR and higher, that's everyone. Uh, if you throw SR, she only gets an additional three in here. Uh, and that is the two, the three SR uh, uh, 17s. <laughs> uh, so it's pretty much commonality. Twin Terror, Shocking Speed, Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Infinite Energy, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, that's all it is. You, you literally don't have anyone well that she really links with. Uh, she's only going to be getting key or defensive boosts from the androids. If you're going to run her with an Arale, she's going to gar almost guaranteed get her super attack off because you're going to most likely be starting the event with six key. If you happen to run on a hero team, let's say you're running a Trunks te led team, that at least is going to be like, that's starting off with a double Trunks, that's two key, then these key, so you're going to start with at least eight key with her. Uh, but that's if you if you actually plan on running her along with these any of these Arales. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't like either. I think the best Arale is the physical one. And she's not listed here for best linking buddy. So uh, overall, not really that great in terms of who you can really link with. Uh, she does share a lot, a lot of different link skills with all the different Androids. And, you know, to be fair, uh, Arale is an Android, but she doesn't link that well with her other than the key links. So Android 18 is really bad position just because she is really not doing that much. She's kind of just there and there's no real reason to run her unless you're using her for her link skill, like her leader ability, or using her for the category lead, which should come out in the future on global. Um, the same thing goes for the mono strength team. Mono strength team is just Android 17 and Arale. Those are the only two, the AOE Arale and the Android 17 who's good for key orb manipulation. But he can't even be run. I mean, I guess you can run him on a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, but he's only going to get two key and attack plus 100% for a double Goku. Um, so he's not going to even be that viable unless you're running like an Omega or an LR Broly. And even at that point, um, I mean, I guess you could, but you're going to want him off rotation because you're going to want him to get that key or manipulation for Broly. You know, so I don't see that being a very viable thing. Plus, they're only giving each other four key and attack plus 1,000. And at that point, you probably just run a Raleigh unless you don't have her, which is six key. And I think that's a little bit better than the, than the defensive buff um, of plus a thousand. That really doesn't do that much. Uh, the only other one is the other 17 is, is this this one's Undokon variant. So overall, this Android 18, other than her leader ability and her category ability for the uh, Master Roshi event, kind of, in my opinion, useless. I You know, it's Bay 18. What can you do? You know, like if you like her, throw her on your team. But in terms of team building, she is just she just doesn't have any link skills. She's not that great. You know, you could, there are a lot better uh, leaders that you could run out there. I mean, unless you literally only have first meta leaders, there's no real reason to run her other than the Peppy Gals uh, category, which isn't even available yet, uh, or using her leader ability if you have first round. But anyway, guys, uh, that's really it. Um, overall, I still like the Goten and the Trunks, don't get me wrong. I just don't find them too viable unless you actually like running them in terms of uh, viability on teams, you know, compared to who else you can run. Uh, I guess you could run them on hero teams if you want to. Uh, but remember, just go with their best linking buddies. I would prefer this Goten and Trunks together. If you're going with Trunks, 
Um, I don't really know which one of these two. It really would depend, I guess, on the type of, the type of an event you're going up against. If you're going up against the technique type, obviously don't bring the agility trunks. If you're going up against the physical type, obviously don't bring the intelligence goten. That's all I can really say about that. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.